Uh oh. Okay, we'll start with this. I'm sure most of you have heard by now that boxer Ryan Garcia tested positive for a banned substance. Banned substances. Osterin on one hand, Nendrolone on another. His big win has now become a big stain. Star boxer Ryan Garcia tested positive for the performance-enhancing substance Osterin the day before and the day of his upset win over Devin Haney last month. Per voluntary anti-doping association letter sent to all the affected parties on Wednesday and obtained by ESPN. The urine samples were collected prior to the fight, but the results weren't known until later. Garcia has 10 days to request that his B sample be tested. Garcia's A sample also screened positive for 19 norandrosterone. What? But its presence is unconfirmed until further lab analysis. Norin, what? Nandrolone, Nandrolone. The same stuff Tyson Fury tested positive for years ago after the hammer fight. Ryan just tested positive for the same thing. Ryan, who says... What's up, everybody? Uh, I came on here to address... This bull fucking shit claim that I cheated. Lies. Yeah. Everybody knows that I don't cheat. No, you just deliberately misweight us to not weaken yourself in your own words. Um, mm -mm. What can I say, you know? Uh, why didn't they come out with this before, you know, the fight? If they found it before, why would they let me step into the ring right. as a cheater? Because the samples were collected the day before and the day of the fight. They have to run tests on those samples then... They have to confirm the findings. It's not a pregnancy test. You don't get results the same day. And they come out with a victory and then they post this, you know. Again, um, these are people that um, are trying to attack me. Who's trying to attack you, Ryan? You test positive for two banned substances and you're trying to make yourself out to be the victim? For whatever reason, but um, no weapon against me shall prosper. I've never okay. taken a uh, steroid. I don't even know where to get steroids. Well, you don't have to. Somebody in your team does. That's how plausible deniability works. It's not cheating if I didn't know I was cheating. I'm not guilty. Because I didn't knowingly take anything. We know how this works. We've read this book before. At the end of the day, um, I barely, you know, take uh, supplements. Um, they're saying it's coming from the ashwagandha. Oh, they're putting Osterin and Nandrolone in ashwagandha these days. That's fucking retarded, so... At the lies. End of the day, big lies. I beat his ass. Fuck out of here. Everybody yes. go to Warwick tonight. It's lit. And Let's I was with this it. guy every Woo! single day. Yeah, never, ever Fuck the Haney! Ryan has put out multiple statements denying knowingly using any banned substances. The atypical defense. I didn't know. And we believe him. Golden Boy Promotions said in its official statement, You can believe in whatever you like. You can believe in the Tooth Fairy for all I care. They found Osterin and Nendrolone in his system. That's not subject to belief. Mine's or yours. We learned about this situation not too long ago, and it's unfortunate Ryan cheated and disrespected both the fans and the sport of boxing by fighting dirty and breaking positive not once, but twice, Haney said in a statement to ESPN. Ryan owes the fans an apology, and by his recent tweet, he still thinks this is a joke. We put our lives on the line to entertain people for a living. You don't play boxing. This puts the fight in a completely different light. Despite the disadvantage, I still fought on my shield and got back up. People die in this sport. This isn't a joking matter. It is the Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, who also missed weight ahead of the fight, registering at 143.2 pounds, where the contest 
request was initially contracted for 140 and in Ryan's own words, the reason he didn't make the weight is because he didn't want to weaken himself. Clearly a fighter who was looking for a competitive edge, a competitive advantage, going as far as saying that he was instructed to not make the weight by Floyd Mayweather. It was deliberate. This is who people are defending? Safety, fairness, and integrity in professional athletic competition is essential, the New York State Athletic Commission said in a statement to ESPN. The commission is in communication with VADA and is reviewing the matter. The loss, the decision loss, is likely now going to be ruled a no contest and overturned. Devin Haney will return to being an unbeaten fighter, at least on paper. And Ryan Garcia, at least in some circles, will be regarded as a ped cheat moving forward. As Osterin is a selective androgen receptor modulator that attaches to proteins in the body and effectively tells muscles to grow, explaining Ryan Garcia's physique in that fight. He looked quite big. It is used to aid in performance by helping athletes build muscle mass, mass. and enhance their rate of fat loss, ah. and also to increase stamina and recovery ability. It has been on the World Anti-Doping Agency's banned list since 2008, and in 2022 was listed as an anabolic agent by WADA. Lucy and Butte tested positive for it after the Badu Jack fight. Alexander Povetkin tested positive for it before the Bermain Stavern fight, what was supposed to be the Bermain Stavern fight that got canceled. A time of reflection. Immediately after the fight, as jarring as the outcome was, I said that I didn't see a great display of boxing from Ryan. All I saw was that he was a lot stronger than Devin and a lot faster. Coincidentally, that's the benefit of taking Osterin. It gives you a strength increase, a speed increase. That's literally why people take it. So when Ryan goes in there and looks so much stronger and so much faster than the man who was so widely favored to beat him, I'd wager the Osterin might have something to do with that. Don't forget the Nandrolone. Ah yes, Nandrolone. A banned substance that Tyson Fury tested positive for some years ago. Ah. Per usual, Banned substance expert Victor Conti weighed in on what's going on, saying, Part 1, Ryan Garcia's two positive drug tests. First, Ryan needs to stop spewing misinformation. He says, If they knew I was positive before the fight, why did they let the fight go? Samples were collected April 19th and 20th. It takes at least 72 hours to get stat results back. No results before the fight. What does that mean? That there would have been no way to know what was in his test results so close to the fight because it takes at least two to three days to process them. They couldn't have called it off. Because they wouldn't have known yet if they had a reason to. Part two, Ryan Garcia's two positive tests. In my opinion, Ryan's team claiming only quote unquote tiny levels is misleading. Anabolic steroids and agents are qualitative, not quantitative tests. You are either pregnant or not, period. Ah. Claiming tiny levels is like saying he's only a tiny bit pregnant. I don't understand. What drug exactly you test positive for matters because some drugs are quantitative, like clenbuterol, and some drugs are qualitative, like anabolic steroids. Osterin, nandrolone. So depending on what the results show, that does provide better insights, insights at least, as to how the substance may have got there since not all banned substances are created equal. Ryan tested positive for steroids. Now some have taken to actually defending Ryan Garcia in light of this latest scandal. They think it's a conspiracy, a conspiracy against him based on political ideologies to which banned substance expert Angel Memo Heredia said, lab results don't lie, ever. Both boxers got tested and one showed to be dirty. No one said anything because it wasn't known until today. I'm the one that posted facts, so no conspiracy in any way. If you believe it, then show some real evidence. What's unique? Victor Canti and Memo Heredia are both experts in the field, given their sketchy pasts, their sketchy history, and they don't even get along with each other, by the way, but they both seem to be in agreement. They hate each other. Have gone back and forth publicly, but they are both well-versed on the matter and when it comes to the matter at hand they both seem to be in agreement that Ryan got caught it's as simple as that misleading public statements from Ryan Garcia and Ryan Garcia's team don't take away from the facts of the matter they found two different steroids in your system where some wish to discredit 
Vada's findings, the testing methods, and how long it took to produce the results, the amount of time that passed between the test being taken、yes. and the results being published. So many that think they know think. what they're talking about or want to seem like they do. You don't. It's not a witch hunt, and it's not a conspiracy against Ryan Garcia. Usually, the simplest explanation is the likeliest one, and what's likely is Ryan needed a competitive edge for a fight. That he was so widely favored to lose. Simple. Ryan is just another fighter, like many many fighters in recent years, that resorted to using banned substances, and he's saying all the same things you've seen other fighters say, all the same things you expect him to say. That he didn't knowingly take anything. Yeah, nobody does.、And、they all say the same thing. They always produce that same cookie cutter answer. They didn't knowingly ingest any banned substances. Well, maybe you didn't know, but somebody on your team did, because. This kind of stuff don't end up in your system by accident. It ends up there because you're looking for a competitive edge. And do I think that Ryan Garcia would pursue a competitive edge? Yes, I do. If you're asking me, do I think that Ryan Garcia is the kind of person that would do something like this to gain a competitive edge? Yes, because Ryan's the same guy who admitted he deliberately missed the weight. As to not weaken himself. That's a competitive edge. You need me to hold your hand through this. Do you need me to further explain it? Are you being deliberately obtuse because you don't like the way this makes Ryan look? That Ryan's recent big win is now a big stain. Arguing with strangers online is not going to undo Ryan's positive drug tests, but his positive drug tests are going to undo. The outcome of that fight. The decision is going to be overturned. In all likelihood, Bill Haney is going to raise hell with the New York State Athletic Commission, and that decision will be ruled a no contest. This one's too big to sweep under the rug. The profile of the fight, the celebrity of the fighters, is going to get overturned. Her veteran boxing scribe Chris Mannix. There will be an investigation by the New York State Athletic Commission into the Vada results, but among its options will be overturning the result of Haney versus Garcia to a no contest. When a fight is of this scale, this size, this magnitude, and that many people know about it, that makes a commission more likely to act on it. As inaction would reflect poorly on them. It would. This guy tested positive for two banned substances. Now, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do to make it right? Most of the time, Ryan's celebrity and enhanced social media profile works for him. This is one instance where it's working against him, as well as his previous thoughts on the matter. It was in October of 2022 where Ryan Garcia said, "No mercy on cheating in sports. If you cheat, you're weak. Even if you ended up still competing and did win, how can you be happy with that and proud? Disgrace, unbelievable. What's going on in the UK? That's what he had to say about Conor Ben. So now, what are we supposed to say about him?" Are we supposed to play with special rules for Ryan that we don't play with when it comes to everybody else? Ryan didn't pull no punches on Conor Ben's situation or Alicia Baumgartner's. It was just a few weeks ago. Ryan Garcia was saying, "Nah, you know what, Scoofy? Is you tested positive for steroids?" He said that to Alicia. Yeah, he said that a few weeks ago on the 16th, highlighting her anti-doping fiasco to put her in a certain light, make her look bad. Now he finds himself in that light. Karma really is a bitch. She's got a nice ass. She's come. She's come for Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, who said, "Why in the world would I volunteer for a drug test if I planned on taking drugs? Make it make sense." To which Alicia Baumgartner responded, "Hey, I said the same thing. Let me know when you get the answer." What's the answer? What? Why would a fighter volunteer for anti-doping testing if they know they're doping? Well, the fighter probably thinks he can beat the test. It's not much of an enigma. Some kind of paradox or hard puzzle that is difficult to solve. If a fighter is volunteering for anti-doping testing, it's for appearances' sake. When underneath it all, they're only doing it because they're confident they can beat the test. And sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. This guy didn't. This guy, Ryan Garcia. Ryan, who says, "I'm going to find out who paid to create this lie." Now I'm going to release. Everyone's shit. Oh, he's gonna be the Jose Canseco of boxing. The voluptuous Alicia Baumgartner responded by saying, "Remember when you were quick to come for me? It doesn't feel good being accused, huh? Good luck. I'll leave you with this: James chapter one, verse nineteen. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. 
Everyone should be quick to listen and slow to speak and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Ryan was very quick to jump on kind of Ben due to his situation, Alicia Baumgartner due to hers, just to find himself in that exact same situation. And all that he has to say is, hey, if I took the steroids, then I'm for sure gay. Well, I thought we established that when you said they punched you in the brown. And he said that they took him in the forest. What was it? Bohemian Grove, a Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Figaro. Figaro. I used some steroids. Nobody loved me. Oh. So I'm just going to say it's a conspiracy against me. People are dumb enough to eat it up these days. What you say doesn't even have to be mildly plausible or possible. It doesn't even have to be true. And there's always a group of idiots that are going to run with it for no reason other than you said it. It's provocative. Some content creators and all of their ambiguous morality, what is their god, are the metrics they can get in their videos, not whether or not the information they're providing is factual or not, no. based in reality, that the truth, the truth of it is often more mundane. Which is why you're not in a business of telling the truth. You're in a business of whatever gets your video watched, whether it's true or not. That's how some people are, and that's how some content creators are handling this story, how I'm handling this story that if you want to know what I think and you're here, so I'll assume that you do, well, he cheated. It's very obvious that he cheated. It's the easiest explanation. He needed a competitive edge in a fight that most of the boxing world was favoring him to lose. So he sought one out. What I took away from the fight when I watched it live here on the channel, Ryan's form was just as flawed as it usually is. His fight mechanics, that it wasn't actually a great display of boxing that he beat Devin Haney with. There were moments in the fight when he's trying to implement the Philly shell and he's turning all the way around, completely around. His form sucked. It usually sucks. But he was so much stronger than Devin Haney and so much faster, able to consistently land the left hook to counter Devin Haney's jab. As Devin stepped into it, can you imagine how much more damaging the left hook is going to be when the guy's on Osterin, when the guy's on Nandrolone, what provides both a strength and speed benefit. The hook, when it gets in, will be that much harder to recover from because the guy's on gear. I mean, it's established that the guy's on roids. That's not subject to anything that Ring IQ thinks or anything that anyone else thinks. That's the matter of fact. That's what's going on. So in hindsight, it all makes sense that a fighter who normally shows very poor form in a boxing match all of a sudden gets it all together, gets it all right in a fight where he was widely favored to lose. Now we know how you won. Why you won. Why you were able to absorb Devin's punches so easily, whereas you did so much damage, just so much damage with yours. You want to get mad at me for pointing it out? It was on steroids. What do you want?